This video I want to offer some tips on how to use a wooden dummy. Now I'm not going to show you everything that I do as far as my method, but basically just give you some tips. Basically I want to use this as a way to challenge people to create their own, opposed to just copying somebody's form. Um, the form that I created, it goes by minutes long. It's about almost 15 minutes long straight through on, you know, straight through. You know, and we do it on both sides, the right and the left. So it's almost like a 30 minute um, form, you know, 15 on each, and I'm still developing it to go, to go further. But basically, the idea of the wooden dummy is to pretty much mimic like a real person. Here you got the head, the face right here, you got the neck right here, and these two arms, it could be perceived as an arm, like a punch coming at you from here, punch coming at you from here okay it can just stimulate somebody who's trying to, to come in with you onto you like this you know maybe trying to choke you or grab you or you can kind of look to one arm as if the one arm is punching you and you can do that on both sides this right here can represent a punch coming at you down low like somebody who's just trying to jab you down low um, or even cross you down low it also, also can stimulate somebody trying to kick you with a straight front kick or like a straight side kick you know coming right at you um, this could also even represent a kick too somebody tried to kick you up you know so it's important for the wooden dummy to be at least at least your height or a, a little bit taller so you can get these arms higher up so it's a little bit more realistic the person's trying to punch you right at around your head level okay this is around your stomach level here alright this is representing maybe his stomach level right here and then down here, maybe his groin area. And then you got the leg right here, which you can see back here. This is representing the person's leg. Because, I mean, the person, if he's fighting you, he's going to have to step forward to get to you. So then that ends up having, he ends up having one leg forward. So then when he has one leg forward, this represents the kneecap. This represents the shin. And then there's the ankle right there. Here's the thigh right here. So basically, it's like your... It's like your sparring partner, and in addition, it, um, it's, it conditions all your limbs. It conditions your forearms, it conditions your fists, it conditions your palms, it can condition your fingers, um, it can condition your elbows, you know, you can do elbow strikes, it can it condition your knees, you know, you can do knee strikes. Um, it basically conditions your foot, you do kicks, kicking, you know, conditions your foot, to get it stronger, your shins, okay, and just all over the arms. So basically, great conditioning where no human being is gonna be able to challenge you the way that this is, because it's a solid wood, and you got you can hit it pretty hard, and it's not gonna break, and it's always gonna challenge you to get your limbs stronger, your muscles stronger. Okay, so keeping that in mind, and you could do it a freestyle way where it's not a set pattern, where you just kind of work with it like it's a heavy bag, where there's nothing that's set, it's not a set pattern, and you just kind of work drills, you know, like you could do like a hundred, hundred front kicks, you could do um, right here, eye jabs. You can do a hundred of them. And then this is like a block, a punch is coming at you. You can block it. The punch is coming at you this way. You can block this way. Okay? You can block down low. This is like somebody that just kicked me. So I just block him here with my palm. Or I can block him with my forearm. Or he even punched me, you know. I can block both ways. Okay? So it's just kind of like getting getting used to coming up with your own your own methods, your own ways of training with it. And that's my challenge to the people. I don't want to just make a tutorial show, okay, this is how you do this and that and have everybody do the same thing and you know that's not what I'm here for. I'm trying to spark your creativity with this uh, training tool. You know, so basically what you gotta do is start sparring and when you start sparring you can see what works, what doesn't and you kinda test those methods. Right? Like I, I even sometimes kick the kick the um up here 
instead of kicking their head here, I kick the arm to represent the person's head. So you kind of train the foot while you while you work that kick. Okay, um, and it's just basic conditioning drills, conditioning that forearm. So I do, um, here's a punch right here and a block. I do like freestyle when I make demos, but then I got like a set routine that I work on, as I stated, that I create on my own, and I don't plan to just have that copied. I think that everybody, you know, challenge themselves. Pretty much like when you're working with this, it's like a work of art, kind of like drawing a picture without copying somebody else's picture, but it comes out of your own imagination, you know? And that's, that's what I challenge people to do. I mean, I come up with certain things where knee strikes up here, you know, I come up with these things on my own, you know? Um, it's something where, like I said, it's like a work of art, like, like painting or sculpting or just, you know, you just kind of create your own method, you know? And this requires a lot more mental a lot more intelligence than just hitting a punching bag. This right here is very defensive. You know, you're, you're working on blocks. You know, you could be working on bobbing and weaving. All right? Blocking, blocking. You can work on relaxation drills. But basically, this right here, there's so many different things you could do with it. With, when you have something like this, um, look, you're working on the fist. When you got something like this, it's like you don't even need a heavy bag. You don't need a bob dummy, you know. Um, sometimes you don't even need a sparring partner. I mean, a sparring partner is just giving you that live action, but then when you start sparring, you would take that experience with you and you apply it to this so that you don't need the person there to throw punches at you. You know, you could just use this, you know, he just threw punches and he's striking back while you're blocking. You know, striking, blocking, striking, blocking. So that's my quick little video to just kind of motivate people to get, get involved get going, get one of these things, start working with it, have fun with it, and just kind of create your own way. Like, it's like me telling you to just to learn how to just draw a picture. Whatever comes up to your mind, just draw it. You might not be the best, but you just started, you know, you're going to get better. And when you draw something that comes from your own imagination, or, you, you know, your own creativities, at least that's your own, you know, opposed to just following somebody else's set pattern. Um, so basically that's that's my 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 quick video to inspire people to do their own thing as far as creating their own form is concerned.